Well, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to your another IRL tutorial. I don't remember this tutorial number. Well, in this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you that disable functionality which I was talking about. Well, to do that, what we can make use of is actually we can make use of ng disabled disabled and again we have to supply a boolean value here so I'm not gonna hard code this but I'm gonna make use of my timer dot start button and why not just make use of the object properties when we already have an object stop button stop button right there and if I just go to app.js I can say uh, scope dot my timer dot start button is true because I want it to be false actually because I want it not to be disabled and stop button to be true all right now once this is inside this loop right there or basically what I want is whenever this star function is fired I want to reverse this thing and I just want to say that this one is true and this one is false and then whenever this is stopped I want to say this one is true and this one is false just like it and uh, with here actually as well I want to say this one is true and uh, this one is false or actually we could just move these two right here to this code because it's eventually gonna fire itself so looks like it's working and if I reload this click on start you can see it works really well the start button is disabled and only stop was enabled and once I click the stop actually uh, the start didn't uh, actually I want to say it false and true here again start stop again start then I want to stop now that's pretty cool huh now again what you can do for this application as a homework you can say you can just add a third button right here which just says reset button and uh, just leave the application like that and on reset it just resets the timer to the original one so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and as always thank you for watching